Oh, uh, hi Roy. Uh, this is uh, Bernard here. I'm going to try to help you out with some of your questions uh, with uh, CAMBAM and I guess trying to use the uh, uh, El Cheapo laser. Um, so um, I just opened up CAMBAM here. Uh, one of the first thing I want to do is go into the system and I know I already set this up already. I think it's in post processor right here if I remember right. Uh, and this is the uh, the uh, currently uh, current active setup that I have and I need to make sure that in this post processor that you're using whatever one you're using um, that I put the uh, right here N of cut M10 P3 and start cut M11 P3 and those are the uh, G code commands that basically will kick in when the bit goes below the Z equals zero uh, and then the uh, M10 will kick in when it goes above. That doesn't turn on and off the laser. What it does is that it, the laser will go on and off uh, on output number three uh, because of the P3 right there and it'll do that on the next move. All right, so the next G0 or uh, G1 move, I, I, I believe. All right, so uh, let me show you how that would work. Uh, so let's say I want to engrave uh, a square. So first thing, let me go back to drawing here. And uh, I'm just going to draw a, a square, one inch square. There you go. And you're asking in your question here, how do I actually uh, uh, make the uh, z-axis go from zero to minus one mil uh, <clears throat> in order to kick in these uh, z, uh, uh, these M10 and M11 commands? So uh, next step here would be, let's say I'm going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to machine a profile around this. So here's the. Uh, these are the drawing commands up here in green, and these in red here are the machine operations. So I select, and it's already selected, you see here, uh, I select the, uh, uh, the rectangle there, and I will do a uh, profile around that. Not a pocket, the profile. All right, so I'm doing a profile, and what this is saying is I'm going to cut outside of this versus cutting inside of the profile. Now, where do I set the depth? Uh, is right here. Uh, target depth, I'm going to make that a negative 0.001. And that's my target depth and the depth increment. Yeah, as long as the depth increment is higher. Um, if I wanted to do, yeah, I can get back, get back to this. Now, the other thing is the feed rate here. That's that's pretty important. I want the feed rate. That's the speed at which the bit's going to go around. So let's say it's a laser and I'm cutting, I don't know, five inch per second. So this is a very important one as well. Uh, make sure the depth increment here is higher number than this and the clearance plane is you know the bits gonna move up by uh, uh, here an eighth of an inch all right so let's uh, go down here and then what you could do is say all right show me the tool path around this and I could say generate the tool path and there it is so if I look at the tool path it's in blue and of course it's very very shallow so I could turn this sideways. Uh, you barely see it because it's so shallow. But I can also say generate the G-code, produce a G-code for this. And then it's going to ask me where I want to put the G-code. Uh, let's say I'm going to do this, a uh, uh, trash me file. So I don't save this file. And if I were to go and look at the G-code there, <coughs> I think I put it in there, 2016. I should be in here, I think. This is where I put it. I'm not sure if this is where I went. Uh, let me save save as. It'll put it wherever the file is. Oh, there you go, Pro 2016. I'm going to put this as trash me. That's the Kanban file. And I think if I machine produce a G code, it'll be exact. Oh, there you go. It was already there. Um, so 2016. Okay, there you go. Here's Trash Me. And there should be a, uh, a Trash Me uh, G code as well. Uh, come, I don't see it. Da, 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 da. Is there a way to view the G code? I think there is. Um, edit. Sorry about the... Uh, View. Hmm. Interesting. 
Um, well, another way to look at the G code is I got a, a mill viewer, cut viewer uh, uh, simulate. So I can simulate this in cut viewer. No stock was found. Um, and I can see the G code down there. So so let me uh, let me show you that. And here's the G code down here that I just produced. So let me move it up. And uh, <clears throat> so let's ignore some of the setup at the beginning. What I want to show you here is these M11 and M10 commands, as you can see right there, right? So so what it does is it positions the bit generates the M11 that says, you know, the output number three, whatever pin it is on your par parallel port, uh, as soon as you get a next G1 move, it will turn on the laser. So the laser will be turned on together with this next move, the G1 here. And this here is probably cutting one side of that rectangle, cutting the second side one inch, moving to the left, moving to the right, and then this is the end of the cut. So turn off the laser at this stage. On the, on the next move which is right here and that's the next move is basically going back up to uh, an eighth of an inch. So if you actually execute this or if you could just cut copy paste this and run this into Mach 3 right now uh, what you should see is that that output pin that you selected on your uh, driver I'm not sure if it was 17 or whatever number it was. If you were to put a voltmeter on it, it should go up to something like 3.3 or 5 volt. I think it's, if it's TTL, it'll go up to 5 volt at this stage here, and it'll go down to 0 volt right there. And that should be enough to activate your solid state, really. I hope this helps. Take care.